Good morning, everybody. This is Teresa with One Heart Bible Ministries, and it is Truth Tuesday, which is the day that we are going to journal a central biblical spiritual truth that we want generations to come to glean from our Bibles, people that we may never meet. And one thing that I have found to be true, and the Lord really placed it on my heart this week, was the fact that praise confuses the enemy. And when I wrote on here. I had a lot to get in here, so I've already done some work. Um, found this article by Debbie McDaniel with Crosswalk.com, and she outlines everything that I've known to be true about praise. When you are at your lowest, when it seems like there is no hope, take time to worship and praise the Lord. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm talking about getting off by yourself and praising the Lord for who he is, for his omnipotence, for his greatness, for his never-ending power and mercies, and God inhabits the praise of his people. So this article fully explains everything about that, and I would, I would um, tell you to be sure and look it up, Debbie McDaniel, crosswalk.com, and I wanted to put that in here, so I had to do a tip in to get it all in. There's also a song that a friend told me about when I was going through a whole lot. It's by Marvin Sapp. It's called Praise Him in Advance, and at first glance, you might think it's kind of a name it, claim it kind of thing, but it's not. It says, I've had my share of ups and downs, times when there was no one around. God came and spoke these words to me. Praise will confuse the enemy. I started singing. I started clapping. I started dancing. People were laughing. They knew my problems, and they knew my pain, but I knew God would take them away. And then down here it says, that's why I praise him with a song when things are right and when they're wrong. And there is no greater key to getting through anything in your life than stopping and worshiping God, which seems really weird. It seems like you don't feel like doing it at the time. It's the last thing on your mind, but I promise you it will work. Read this article and it will really, really enlighten you to all that praise does. So what I did, got some, some um, uh, scrapbook paper here did a little tip in so that I could get the song in and the back in front of this I've put when everything in life seems hopeless read this front and back so we're reading from 2nd Chronicles 20 and a guy I don't even remember his name before Jehaziel it said the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jehaziel and he said listen all Judah Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed at this great horde, for the battle is not yours but God's. And so they, they actually decide to stand up, not in an attempt to battle, but they stand up against their enemy and praise. And when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set an ambush against the men of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, who had come against Judah, so that they were routed. What power. They took. They were taking the time to keep their focus where it needed to be, and God took care of the rest. So I wanted to um, also share with you something that I've really started enjoying here, and that is using um, silhouettes. You can Google, you can Google um, joyful silhouette, praying silhouette. This one I put praise silhouette and I found this man and typically I do use women but I do have three sons and I I thought you know I really just like having this man in here because this will relate to them and it's a I printed it out and cut it out now if you don't mind covering your pages you could just glue this down or tape it down in your Bible and use it like that and it's very powerful and very cool but well here's what I do and I printed it on cardstock for this, and I use my thin washi, and I roll it, and I put it on here. Now, the key is don't roll it more than uh, one thickness, or else it gets too thick and it makes it stand up. So it's not a perfect scenario, but it'll get you started. I have prepped this with gesso, because we're gonna use watercolors. And the reason we're gonna use watercolors is because I, I'm just still not wanting to cover my, um, I don't really have a hang up about it, but I try to leave my um, words where you can read them. So I'm also going to cover this part of the verse so that it doesn't get in the paint. I'm gonna use my washi for that, make sure it's down good. 
and then now here's the thing you might think oh the watercolor is going to smear all up under that um that silhouette but i have actually played with this and found a way that it would not okay now i've got to reposition this because he's looking a little crooked all right here we go let's get this man facing the right direction all right you praise it buddy look at that isn't that, isn't that cool okay so here's what we're gonna do and i use i like to use a kind of a soft thick brush I'm using the Cheapo watercolors from Michaels. And I'm just gonna spray wet this part with this stuff. And I am going to put my brush in it. Now, the point here is not to have it dripping wet. So, I'm gonna take this watercolor and I'm gonna start on him. So you don't wanna come towards him because you'll mess up the lines. I'm gonna start on him and brush outwards. Okay, you do kind of have to work to make sure you get in the creases, okay? But, see, you can still see through to my words. Now, this is kind of tricky. You gotta be really careful with this hand. And I have to constantly wet my watercolor, but I'm still not using it drippy wet, okay? And I'm gonna go over his hand. I may have gotten a little too much water on that one, but hey. No big deal. I'm not perfect either, so we're going to see what we can do to dry that out a little bit. All right, we're going to go around all the edges. And it may not be perfect, but I think that the um, whole um, the image of the man praising is still going to be on there, whether it looks perfect or not, you know? So, I tried, you know, acrylics. I couldn't see through to my um, words. I tried watering down the acrylics, and then I kind of had the same thing as watercolor anyway, so I thought, let's just use the watercolors as dry as we can, okay? So, now, I'm just going to go ahead and cover the page. With this pretty blue. Y'all, I promise you, if you will take the time to praise when things are rough, I'm not, I'm not, time away for asking for answers, specifically. Just have a time when you're not asking God to fix it, but you're praising Him for who his, He is and for what you know he can do, and for how he's brought you through so much in the past. And I can't tell you how many times I've had to go to my knees and say, Lord, please forgive me for doubting you. I got no right to doubt you with all you have done for me. So, okay. Here we got it done. All right. I think I'm going to, before I, um, I'm going to, turn this off for a second and I'm going to um, dry this with my handy dandy heat gun before I pull this off. Okay, we're going to pull this baby off. See what we've got. So far, so good. Okay, a little bit on the hand, not bothered by, a little bit on the arm, not bothered by that. I think overall it's a really cool effect. Of this man praising this is a baby wipe i'm going to see if it'll wipe yeah it'll wipe a little bit of that blue off of that arm part yay amazing these are the magical tools of the trade baby wipes okay all right so now i want to get some words in oh let's pull this off too let's pull this off too we have some color a little bit of color on the i was a little bit haphazard I'm excited, I guess, doing this for you, but I'm going to try to wipe some of that off and clear that off. Yes. See there? I'm telling you, honey. Thank you, Lord, for the baby wipes. Wonderful, wonderful invention. All right. Now, I decided that I'm going to do mostly stamping. 
benefits of this. I want to tell you, these are the coolest little stamps. I think they were $0.79.99 cents at Tuesday morning. And they are just right. If you're doing a single column in your Bible, you can get longer words in with these stamps. So um, really consider picking some up. And they've got several different little designs you can get. All right, so let's see. We are going to say the key to making it through anything, praise confuses the enemy. And that's a lot of words. I know, I know, I know. But if you will bear with me, I will speed you up through this process. I did do, I will tell you, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. I also found Googled keys. They have tons of images. If you, if you Google something and then you hit the image thing, you will get tons of images. And so what I did is I printed this out and put it on some sticker paper if I can get it off. And then I painted it a little bit too because with a gold marker because it just was looking kind of dull for my printer. My printer is not printing very vibrant. All right, so here's my key. I'm gonna put my key right here. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna start with these little stamps. I am using Ranger Archival Ink and I'll get back to y'all just as soon as I get these words on the page. So, see you in a minute. Okay, you guys, we are back. We finally got all our letters on and um, my sticker, the key to making it through anything, praise confuses the enemy. And that, my friends, is the truth. So I'm gonna stamp this with truth because it is Truth Tuesday, and I want no mistake when people are looking through my Bible that this is a truth that they need to not ignore. I hope that you today, even if things aren't going bad in your life right now, that you will take time to praise the Lord and that you will um, take time to worship him for who he is, not for what I want, not for what he's done, but for who he is. I'm gonna use some, um, the washi tape that I used over here on this side and just um, kind of embellish this a tiny bit and put some at the top and we are done. Now, if you um, have not already subscribed to our channel, we are doing um, a process series of videos every Tuesday. We call it True Tuesday. Just took a week off for Bible school last week because quite frankly, those children were more important. So if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so. You can reach me at oneheartbible at gmail.com. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please push like and um, hit the little um, bell next to subscribe so that every time we upload something, you can do it. If you have any questions, please let us know. Have an awesome Tuesday. I'm headed to the pool. Bye.